Well, there you go. Gentle, gentle. No. Uh uh uh. no wind. What do you want to build now? The helicopter. The helicopter. Okay. You want honor to sit with you? <laughs> do you want honor to sit with you? No. You here. You sit with mommy. Here. Okay. Sit down. We're just getting ready for Fourth of July, aren't we? Yes. And we're we're help you drive in the car. Help you drive in the car. What for? A firework. You would like to see the fireworks. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Hi, Jessica. We're we're trying to decide if we like fireworks. We can't quite remember. Is this the one you want to build? No. This isn't, I thought this was the helicopter. That was not a helicopter. Yes, it is. Not a We built, what have we built? We built a police boat and we built a um, shark. So 4th of July is always, hmm, we're currently watching the backyard again. Let's try to turn that down. 4th of July is always a little crazy. It is my very favorite holiday. And Amos and Daddy got here a little while ago, or actually a couple hours ago. Didn't you, Amos? The fireworks, for a few years, Amos and I have been in the bed during the fireworks, which makes Amos happy and makes Mommy sad because Mommy really likes fireworks. But tonight, there are some down the beach, and we're trying to decide if we should go. So my thought was that we could go and sit in the car and watch the fireworks from the car. Amos, what if the fireworks are loud? Do you like them loud? Yeah. You like loud? Yeah. Are you sure? You like the light though, don't you? Love your shirt. Oh, it's, um, it's a dress. I got it today, 50% off at, um, Posh Pelican down here. My 16-year-old son with autism likes fireworks. He's nonverbal and smiles and points. Well, that's good. He, I bet I'm guessing, Shannon, he doesn't run away anymore. The running away is one thing that makes things tough because Amos is real fast. Um, we were just talking about 4th of July. Are you interested in going to see fireworks? Where? With Amos and I at the Coral Bay Club? Maybe. They do them tonight at 9, and we were thinking... We... Why? I thought it would be on with the July. Oh. Well, I figured we could do them the 4th of July at the house. Okay. On the beach? Yeah. Daddy, one time we took the boat out. Hmm? Took the boat out on 4th of July. That's kind of fun. Unless, unless someone, the problem is you, you want to do something, but then you're never quite sure what might happen. No offense to anybody. Could he wear headphones? He could wear headphones, but he won't. Did your mom buy it for you? Chris is very fast. I have to hold on to his arm at all times. He's a runner. Oh, gosh, Shannon, I thought you were going to tell me when you turned 16, you stopped running. Little Thomas, do you want to go see fireworks? Hey. Huh? Hi, Mommy. Um, I don't know. Like, Hi, Mommy. Fourth of July? Like, do you want to see them here, or do you want to travel somewhere to see them? Well, one thought I had was we could try to go on the boat. Mm. Huh? Nah. You don't want to go on the boat to see them? No. I don't mind seeing them from the beach, but um, did Amos like them last year? Do you remember? Yeah, Where did we watch them? Oh, Thomas said he did like them. The main problem with him on the beach was not losing him because it was so dark.
Huh? We didn't lose him last year. We didn't lose him last year. There's always next year. They do them tonight at the Coral Bay Club at 9, and he and I were discussing going. She wears loops. What are loops? Fireworks on TV. Oh, he won't watch much on TV unless he really wants to watch it. Currently at Backyardigans. Boat is good because you can choose how... They're all poo-poo in the um, boat idea. Does the dress shop have a website? I should just be a fashionista. Yes, it does. Poshpelican.com, evidently. They have a very good sale going on. What are you cooking? Blueberry pie with ice cream. Right now? Yeah. Before dinner at 4 o'clock? I didn't know it's we were having dinner at 4. No, it's 4 o'clock right now. It's great to be a ghost. Great to be a ghost? Yes. Help me change it. Okay. What do you want to watch? Oh, you want to watch it. It's great to be a ghost. Your in-laws are coming. They are. They're coming in the morning. I think now. Which one? Right there. To the left? Right there. To the left? Right there. Right there. Great to be a ghost. The boys eat all the time. Um, that would be a yes. What? Are you the first person that had a bite of the blueberry pie? Yeah, I am. Probably the only person that's going to have a bite. I thought when you ate pie, it was supposed to be like a big thing. Like you cut it and everybody had a slice together. Oh, well, you wouldn't do that. And I don't want it to go bad. So I'm <laughs> you don't want it to go bad. Yeah. Was it going to go bad? Today? Yeah, it's green tomorrow. <laughs> we are so excited to get to see two nieces' family. The little cousins are getting to be with each other for the first time since COVID. Now he's autistic and loves bowling. So you're going bowling. Amos, do you like going bowling? Uh, Amos, do you like bowling? Russell, do you like bowling with Amos? No, not with Amos. Not with Amos. Mm. I'll tell you who really likes bowling. Honor. Chase down the courts. Honor likes bowling. Bowling. Did Thomas bring the gift you sent? Deborah, I don't know if he did or not. He's been, he got here and has been working all afternoon. Oh, yeah. I think he was just glad to miss traffic and get to the beach a little earlier. You didn't lose him last year. I love watching from the boat. Yeah, that seems, you know, we've tried. One thing we've learned, <laughs> clearly, not to let too much worry us, but we have learned to not over schedule and over plan and try to do a zillion things. Hello from France. We, um, tomorrow's Saturday and our oldest has to work in the morning and then we have a picnic tomorrow night. So we think tomorrow we'll just have a beach day and have subs. And then Sunday, I think we'll have a boat day, but Amos might stay home with our babysitter and go to the water slide. Amos, do you like the water slide? Where'd Dad go? Yes, we have to go now. Well, it's not open yet. Remember how they have to set it up? It closed. Yeah, but you and Mommy could go there tomorrow for a little tiny bit. Five minutes. Do the fireworks scare Honor? No, nothing's... Uh, fireworks don't scare Honor. They don't. You sure about that? Yeah, when she was three days old, they started playing them at dog training. No, they work really hard to make sure that, because she's a service dog, she is not scared. Russell is eating. Nancy wants to know what you're eating, Russell. Blueberry pie with vanilla ice cream. Please don't drop it on my rug. I got a new rug, which clearly I'm like the dumbest person on the planet. So I can just see how long until it looks terrible. Yeah, just you wait. No, the, the goal is to not eat in the living area. Well, this is a kitchen, not here. So. Yeah, but you could eat outside at the table. Or that table. No, no, that is not for eating. That's a table for relaxing. Our golden freaks out at fireworks. Yeah. We, don't, we can't remember if Amos likes fireworks. We think he does. But we, um, what else do we like to do this weekend, Amos? We're going to cook hot dogs. Sissy, did Amos like fireworks last year? 
I don't know. You wouldn't let him see it. I didn't let you see fireworks? Yes, I did. Thomas said we were on the beach last year. No, he didn't. Did I make the blueberry pie? Yes, I did make the blueberry pie. Homemade, didn't I, Russell? Is it good? No, because you didn't make it. Russell. Russell, is, he lies. Everybody knows me. I picked the blueberries and made a wonderful, delicious crust. I needed it. Hey, point the camera over here. I point need, the, why? Point the, point the camera over now that's just mean. And I put it in that special box that I made so it would look like it was store-bought so and no one would it, feel like for inept for, for, for my cooking. Yeah. Okay, can you go make blueberry cobbler then? I can make blueberry cobbler. Okay. Cool. One it's, earth. It's a cup of sugar, a cup of milk. My one earth. You want to read one earth and a cup of butter. One earth is up in, is it in mommy's room? Yeah. Sissy, will you go get the one earth book in my room, please? Because daddy's up there working. Why do y'all look so guilty? I don't know how many things pristine with all those kids. I mean, look. Does this look pristine? I make so many blueberry muffins that one of my subscribers sent sent us way too many. Thirty boxes of blueberry muffin mix. It is the best thing on the planet. You don't need pie crust. Damn it. Do you really not? <laughs> There's a reason that I have good friends named Vivian Howard and not myself. Tonight we are having, are y'all good to have cheeseburgers and hot dogs? What happened to the fish? Um, I did not go to the fish store and daddy said, let's just cook what we have. Huh? Let's just cook what we have. Oh, okay. I guess I can eat. Did you get your mom to buy your dress? There are ghosts. How many costume changes have you there done today? I woke up and put on a dress. And then I had on a bathing suit, and Amos and I went swimming, and then I've taken a shower, which is shocking, and put on another dress. Because I've spent a week trying to get organized so that I can just look at mess like this. My mom made stuffed shells every July 4th, and we'd barbecue. Oh, July 4th, I think we're going to have tenderloin my in-laws are bringing. They all want... They love to get some grouper, but grouper's like, the last time I bought grouper for our family and not everybody ate it, it was like a hundred dollars. We got, I'll tell you what we got that are real good. Speaking of nothing to do with autism and 4th of July, because clearly I don't know anything about autism and 4th of July, so I'm no expert. But let me tell you what we do have that is our neighbor turned us on to these. You know what these are? These are Bright Leaf Hot Dogs. Your birthday is July 4th? I'm so jealous. This is what they look like. Oh, oh they're all kind of messed up. Yeah, Bright Leaf Hot Dogs. And they're very red and very good. And then you get the Bright Leaf Chili, which is from Smithfield, North Carolina. Oh, my stomach's already growling. And then in here we got my homemade blueberry pie. We've got some, look, look, blueberries from Friendly Market. So because autism work, wears us out for 4th of July, we eat on them. We have this from Friendly Market, a tomato pie. Can you see it? It's real good. Where do you buy those hot dogs? Mmm. I got those hot dogs at the Walmart. Usually. No, no, I got them at Food Line. Food Line. Mmm. You can order Brightly Fun Line. I mean, I could eat a Bright Leaf hot dog every day of the week. And then my children start talking about what's in hot dogs, which grosses me out. Uh-oh. You 
You know that movie, Stand By Me, when they eat the blueberry pie. And he tells the story about the one child drinks like a whole bottle of castor oil and then pukes blueberry pie for everybody. I mean, Russell just ate a half of blueberry pie in one sitting. Homemade blueberry pie. Yes, Friendly Market um, over in Moorhead City. Yes. Are there any more Friendly Markets? Gross. Look. Are they all beef? Oh, I doubt it. This is chicken salad from Friendly Market. Are they all beef? Let's see what's in them. Just because we're so curious. Hot dogs. Hmm. The main ingredient is pork, pork water, pork hearts, beef, non-fat dry milk, corn syrup, salt, mustard, mustard, sodium, yellow dye, sodium nafutit, garlic, onions, spices. It's like a model of health. You want to see the tomato pie? Well, it just looks like a pie with tomatoes. I can't get to it. It's under too much stuff. But it's real good. <sighs> Are we going to clean up our Legos? <laughs> not all beef. Yeah, definitely not all beef. Most hot dogs are chicken. They are? Well, not those. Those are just pork. I thought they were pretty good. So we don't have big plans. We have daddy's just finished work for the day. Well, uh, yeah, still have a bit not yet. What time do we want to cook hot dogs? I don't know. I need to fire those coals up there. Takes okay. A while. Little Thomas, what oh, time do you have to be at work? What time? 5 30. Do you want to eat a cheeseburger before you go? Sure. We could go ahead and cook early before he goes to work. Okay. The only hot dogs I'll eat are Schick House or Thumans. Well, I've never heard of those. Not inspired. Um, so that's our 4th of July plans. Maybe a little boat trip on Sunday, water slide. Some fireworks. That's our excitement. What? You like the red hot dogs or the beef ones? Yeah, I think I got a little bit better. Did you really? Yeah. These are the tennis experts. Yeah, definitely. Daddy, did you see her chin? My chin is. Yeah, I didn't even notice. You didn't? Does he miss his playroom when he's here? I don't think so. He likes to just tear up this room. Do you see it? Her chin. She she woke up bleeding. And we decided that she fell out of the bed. Who was your roommate? I don't know. You didn't know the person? You still don't know? You don't know your roommate? Her roommate was 15 at tennis camp. She FaceTimed her boyfriend a lot? Yeah. Her boyfriend didn't talk to her. Anymore. How do you know? Because <laughs> he would say, I'm going to bed at 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah. She did say the 15 year old was talking to the boyfriend. He was like, I got to go to bed. Blair goes, Huh, it was 9 o'clock. <laughs> Nothing like some tennis camp to perk you up. No, Honor is not scared of fireworks at all. No. She yeah. likes anything loud, she thinks it's a game. Yeah. They have, yourself? they have them, no, but they have them tonight at the Coral Bay Club at 9. Really? Which I was debating on taking you-know-who to do them. Mm. But I think he liked them last year, Thomas said. I don't know if he likes them at 9 o'clock at night. Though. Oh, we like him at bed at 9 o'clock at night. Enjoying Wimbledon. Have you been watching Wimbledon? Yeah, yeah, I've watched it. I just play at Wimbledon. I had watched, you know, the whole thing, but I've seen some. I went to Italian. I'd like to be watching it now, to be honest with you. I'd like to see that. He'd like to be watching it now, but he's watching, he's watching Backyardigans. Well, let me try to get the TV going in my room, and he could do, in our room, he could do that. Yeah, there's a kid that's 19 years old. It's really fun to watch. Tune in later. Subscribers, looking forward to Angela.
the health guru who's gonna counsel us on red hot dogs.